Ariel, what are we going to be doing today? That's right, we're going to order chickens, and there are four, kind of five things you really need to know before ordering chickens online. Stay tuned and find out what those are. We're just sitting down to breakfast. It's been a little bit of a challenge because we've got a really small flock that we are ordering. And when you have a small flock that you're ordering, there's some hurdles that you got to get over. So I'm going to show you what those hurdles are. All right, we're here in front of the computer. I got my morning juice, I got my girl, and we're gonna take a look at four different websites, four reputable hatcheries to see what they have to offer. We're gonna take a look at a couple things, location, pricing, availability, and the hatchery's reputation and policies. The girls have already written out a list of names for these chickens. Can you guess which name I contributed? Let's jump down here on my computer screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing and the different websites that I'm on. Okay, let's take a look at the four websites that are really reputable hatcheries. We've got one, Cackle Hatchery. They are amazing in that they have such a crazy amount of different uh, poultry, different, you know, turkeys, waterfowl, game birds, and they have a huge selection of rare chickens. So you can easily find whatever chicken you want right here on Cackle Hatchery. They're located in Missouri. Number two, we've got Ideal Poultry. They are in Texas. They have a really good selection too. So we've got Ideal right here. We've got Meyer Hatchery. They are in Ohio. And they are really reputable. We've also got My Pet Chicken and they're located in Connecticut. They also have a very good reputation. So let's go and look at pricing. So you can see right here, I've got the chickens. We're getting eight chickens, four female Rhode Island Reds and four female Barred Rocks. And those are sexed already. They guarantee those. And you can see that they've got, they're shipping at $22.16 from Missouri to Texas. Not bad, but they've also got this small bird order fee. And anything under 15 birds, you've got to pay that small bird order fee. So we've got 20 bucks. So our grand total is $71. Each one of these chicks is $3.70 with no um, vaccinations on board. So besides the great selection, you know, the price is a little bit high, but we've also got these, uh, this extra fee added on here. No big deal, but you know, we've got pretty good shipping price. All right, let's look at the second one. What do we got here? We got all right, let's go to Meyer Hatchery. Now Meyer, we've got almost the same price, very similar price. We've got four barred rocks, and female, already sexed, and four Rhode Island reds. We've got a total of 30 bucks. And you can see down here to Texas, and this is my zip, and we've got a shipping cost of 35 bucks. Now they don't have, or they don't show a small flock fee, and coming from Ohio, 35 bucks, yeah, that's probably right. No tax, uh, interstate you know, tax. So we got a total of 65. So about six bucks or so less, six, seven dollars less than the cackle hatchery. All right, not too bad, but one of the reasons, oh, I'm gonna save that actually. I'm gonna tell you about something in a second here because I'm gonna go over here to my pet chicken. They're located in Connecticut. They've got a similar price also. Uh, we've got day old chicks, uh, females, they're a little bit extra, 380 a piece, about 15 bucks or so for four. So we got a $30 and 40 cents. It's, you can calculate the shipping here. Again, no tax, but shipping. And where is our shipping? This, this is for this one right here. This to our zip code, we've got $37 for shipping. So we've got 67, 68 bucks roughly. So everybody is about the same in total. 65 Myers, pretty good. 
71. Everybody's in the same ballpark, right? Even though they don't have a small uh, bird uh, fee, they do say that orders between certain dates, February 18 and March 30, you must have a minimum of eight birds. So always be, always read this, the fine print, right? And we've got eight birds or 15 bantams, or eight standard birds or 15 bantams. No problem, we want our eight birds. That's not gonna be a big problem. So let's go over here to Ideal. Now these guys are in our backyard. These guys are located, I think, out near Waco, Texas. And that's probably two and a half hours drive from us. And we've got our uh, Rhode Island red bullets, of course, the females. Our price is lower. We got 352 for each of them. And that puts us at 28 bucks. But Ideal Poultry has a minimum purchase of $30 of poultry products. Oh man, come on guys. But I saw this and got a little irritated. But I've, I've got to hold off and relax because I actually messaged them down here in the corner and I asked them, I said, hey, do you have a small flock fee and what is your shipping? And they said, yes, we have a small flock fee. I was like, okay, okay, what is it? She's like, oh, it's $7. I'm like, oh, fantastic. We got 20 bucks over here for a small flock fee. So we've got a $7 small flock fee. So I'm looking at 35 bucks and I said, okay, what's your shipping? We're in Texas. And she said, get this. We got rid of our shipping fees last year. What? Are you kidding me? That's awesome. So guys, Ideal Poultry, been around since 1937, check it out right there, has free shipping. Anywhere in the Continental 48, I believe, is what she said. So, we've got a total of $35.16. Actually, I will be paying tax on that because they are in Texas. So, add 8.25%. No big deal. I'm still way under what these other guys are. And let me tell you another reason I want to order from these guys and I am going to order from them. Because for the longest time, I was going to order from Cackle because they have such a great reputation and they have an amazing selection. But I'm going to order from Ideal because they're close. And it is February. Now it's not that cold down here in Texas. It's in the 50s roughly every day. And those birds are going to have a very short trip in mild temperatures. If I'm going to order these birds from Connecticut, from my pet chicken, which I'm not going to do, they are going to endure some very cold temps and a very long distance uh, traveling. I want the shortest distance possible. So that's another reason I was never going to order from Meyer or my pet chickens. But ideals close, and I was you know, Cackle's located in Missouri and we're in Texas, so that's really not that far away. But I want those birds to have the best chance in the mail. They're going to be sent to our local uh, local uh, post office. I want them to have the best chance. And chicks need to stay warm. So I'm not going to order from Connecticut. I'm not going to order from Ohio. I'm not now going to order from Cackle. You know, they're much more expensive. Um but they're close, but you know, hey, we're gonna come down here. We're gonna give our Texas business to a Texas uh, hatchery, which is really cool. No big deal, 30 bucks. Okay, I got another dollar uh, 84 cents to pick up. I'll, I'll pick up something over here. I don't know, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. I'll get some supplies, whatever. Something that's over a buck. Doesn't matter. So we, we add a little bit to our total, uh, a whole dollar, you know, two bucks. Not that big of a deal at all. Maybe I'll get one of these things. Grow gel. I don't even know what that is. Dry potter, half cup of water, mix once. Yeah, I don't need that. We're going to go all organic with these guys. So that's it, guys. We looked for uh, location, um, reputation, price, shipping totals, and that's what I wanted to show you. So when you are picking your chickens, make sure that you are keeping in mind all those different factors when you're looking at an online hatchery. Make sure you're looking at you know location and 
uh, hatching times and price and fees that are added onto it because if you get a small amount of birds like us there's going to be some extra fees that small flock small flock order fee deal I did find some other hatcheries with it. I don't remember what they were, but I, I clicked off them pretty quick because actually there was a small hatchery. I don't know where they were located, but their small flock fee was $35 plus shipping. It was like $35, an extra $70 for the just, just the fees plus the chickens. It was crazy. It was over $100 for eight chickens. That's not going to happen for sure. So here we go. This is my winner, Ideal Poultry, and uh, we're going to be ordering them right now. Let's do it. So we did it. We've got our names of our chickens, of course, and we got our chickens ordered. Ariel helped me. I appreciate it. We're going to get our chickies next week because the hatch date, I had to move it back because we can't really go and get them on Saturday. So. We have got those coming next week. We'll get them in the middle of the week next week, and we'll show you every minute of when we go get those chicks. It should be fun. We hope that information was helpful for you on our video today in ordering chicks and those uh, points to look out for when you're ordering chicks online. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. And we'll see you on the next video. All right. Mm -hmm.